What's up guys? It's Erica at Rainbow Factory and today I'm going to show you how to draw a cute little turkey for Thanksgiving Day. And when we draw this turkey, we're also going to be practicing our shading and shadows so that it will look more realistic and it's going to be a lot of fun. Today we are using just some average colored pencils. I believe these were Crayola brand, nothing fancy, and some drawing paper. So to begin, we start with just a circle right there in the middle of the page. And then we add a larger circle right underneath that circle. The top one is his head and the bottom one is his body. In order to get the shadows right, we need to know from what direction the light is hitting our turkey. So here is a little light bulb to remind us that our light source, which is the light bulb, is hitting the turkey from the top right. So our shadows need to be on the bottom left. Starting with our darkest brown pencil, we're going to go ahead and shade the bottom left of each of the circles using more pressure and getting a really dark edge on the bottom left there. That's going to be the darkest part of our turkey, so it gives the impression that there's a shadow there. Applying less pressure now, we're gonna take that shadow up just a little more, but we still need to leave room for the beak and the eyes on that top circle. So be careful not to go too far. But notice it's a lighter coloring, so we're going to kind of blend that shadow up and make it a little bit lighter as we go. Next, we're going to add the eyes. I like to do cute little cartoon looking eyes, just two big circles and two small circles inside each of those circles. <laughs> There's a lot of circles happening here. And then we'll just fill those in with black. Now with an orange or yellow or red pencil, we're going to draw in his beak, which is basically an upside down triangle. I started with the yellow, but then I changed to a darker color because we wanna go ahead and get those shadows in there, just like with the body and the head. We're gonna put a darker shadow on the bottom left of the beak and the little waddle there. Using a lighter brown, probably the lightest brown you have, we are going to go ahead and fill in the entire head and body of our little turkey. Just being careful not to push down too hard. We want this to be a light color. And we're going to make sure that we go as all the way over the shadowed area. So notice I'm going to color over those darker brown shadowy areas. And I'm going to go back as you see here and kind of blend in those shadows with the darker brown, just blending right over that, that uh, layer of light brown. So that's how we blend with color pencils. We do it in layers. So we had the dark layer on the shadow, then we layered over that with the light color, like we're doing here. And then we go back with the dark color. 
So you may even do four or five layers depending on how blended you want it and what colors you're working with. Just remember when you're working with color pencils that that's how we blend. Following that same layering process, we're blending in the shadows of the beak now. Okay, he kind of looks like a brown snowman at this point. So let's go ahead and get some little feet in there. It's a pretty simple shape, but we're going to start with our darker color. So I'm starting with a dark red so that I can get the shadows in there as well. And we are remembering where our light source is coming from and putting the darkest areas where that light would not hit. And then going in with a lighter color, I'm using yellow on the areas that the light would hit. Those are called highlights. Okay, we're going to start on the feathers next. So this guy's about to get very colorful. I'm gonna go for kind of a rainbowy effect, but you can do more of the traditional brown feathers if you'd like. Just remember that whatever color feathers you do, you want a light and a dark of each color. So you'll notice that I had a light and a dark purple, a light and a dark pink, a light and a dark green, etc. So for each feather, we're going to start with the dark color for the shadows and then fill in with the lighter color. To begin with though, I'm going to just grab my black pencil and very lightly start drawing those feathers in there, starting with the tallest feather in the back, right above his head, and then just layering those feathers, heading down towards the sides of the paper. You may want to try to use a pencil so that you can erase your lines as you draw. You can do that as well. So I'm using the darkest color first on this purple feather. So I have a dark purple. And each feather is going to have this feather detail, which is like a very tall Y <laughs> shape, like the letter Y. And then some little Vs going down that center line. So I'm just going to repeat this process with all of the feathers now. Okay, so we're gonna start putting our shadows on each of these feathers, of course, with the darker color. Remembering that the light source is going to hit the top of the feathers, the bottom of the feathers where they kind of disappear behind the turkey are going to be darkest. So you'll see me add all of those shadows and also shade in the detail in the center a little bit more and then add the lighter colors on the rest of the feathers. And I basically repeat that process for all of the feathers and he starts to get really colorful now. Don't forget to color over the darker color with your lighter color in layers. So light right over the dark. You don't start your light color where the dark ends. You go right over that dark color with your lighter pencil and then you go back with the darker to blend a little bit more and so on.
Oh, look at our cute turkey. He is looking so handsome. So now we're going to use a black pencil to just do some final shading on the darkest parts. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black on the darkest parts of his head and then the darkest parts of his body and his feet. And I am also going to just kind of outline everything just to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, this is probably the most important part. Our turkey right now looks like he's just kind of floating there in space. So we need to give him a shadow on the surface that he's standing on. If that light source is coming from the top right, that shadow is going to fall to his left. So I just quickly sketched in a little shape underneath him and making sure that it stayed on the left side of him. I'm going to just shade that in with a very light shading of the black bleh, with the black pencil. Now, we could totally call our turkey done, but I think I'm gonna take it a step further and fill in the background. Something I love to do, even when I'm coloring in a coloring book with crayons um, or color pencils, is to give a dark kind of halo effect around the whole item and then go in with a lighter touch with that same color to fill the whole background. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see it all kind of happen. And it just gives it a glowy effect. It's just way more interesting than just filling in with one color. I'm adding a, cute, a few cute little eyelashes and making those eyes a bit darker just to finish him off. He's so cute. I hope you guys liked drawing this cute little turkey as much as I did. And I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can provide some more tutorials for you guys. You can also follow me on my blog at rainbowfactory.com. You'll find lots of tutorials there for kids and for adults, for beginners and for advanced art students. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.